Hi everyone and welcome back. Recently Dwarf 3 shared some images with the Dwarf 3 trial production that was uh, taking place inside the factory. And in this video I want to show you the images taken in the Dwarf 3 factory. We have some images here that really impressed me and shows how the Dwarf 3 is produced and also tested. Yes, affiliate links are available in the description if you want to order the DOS 3 and get it faster. Now let's begin and look at the first trial units of the DOS 3 Smart Telescope and check the quality control. We have here the first test where we can see a lot of DOS 3 Smart Telescopes placed in lines. It seems this is an aging test to understand how the product's performance changes after long-term use. This will uh, predict also the product lifespan and improve its stability. Now let's go to the next image. Here on the first look I didn't know what's going on but it seems here they are setting up the main cameras and also cleaning up the CMOS sensor. Now let's check the third image and here we have two images with the same uh, process I believe. In these two images they assemble the heat dissipation board onto the optical module and apply the thermal silicone for heat dissipation. I think these operations will prevent the door 3 CPU circus board from overheating. And I think this helps also the imaging sensor as I understand, the optical tube of the DORF 3 Smart Telescope is different than the DORF 2. The DORF 2 had glass in front, here we have aluminium, and I understand aluminium will be better and help dissipate the heat better from this CPU circuit board. Now let's go to the next image. Here we can see the DORF 3 in a large container. This is a thermal shock testing. It's a crucial method in quality control and reliability testing for products. Thermal shock testing is conducted to determine if the equipment can withstand sudden changes in the temperature of the surrounding atmosphere without sustaining physical damage or deterioration in performance. So this is a very important test they are performing for the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope so they will be sure it will work properly. Now let's go to the next image and here it looks like we have a humidity test. It's called salt spray testing. Also known as salt fog testing, it is a standard test method used to evaluate the corrosion, resistance of materials and surface coating. I want to thank Dwarf Lab for giving me this extra information about the images that they posted. So I will be able to provide in this video the description of this test accurately without uh, making mistakes. And let's check also the other images. In this image, it seems they are conducting the final test after the aging process. They also run a full functionality test and that includes also dark calibration. So we can see here they are putting the DOR3 smart telescope into a black box for testing. Now let's go to the next image. Here we have a similar image that are used for uh, lens testing to see if there are any distortions to check the focus. And since here they are doing core mechanism testing, focusing mainly on checking the accuracy of the start points. Image resolution, the functionality of the focusing motor and the filter switching. So they are testing also here uh, the focus after changing the, the filter to see how good the focus motor will work, how well the start points look and of course also the image resolution. Now in the last image we have here a picture with a star on a monitor and it seems this is a finished test for star point detection using an algorithm to automatically determine if the star points are round. So these were the images that I found shared on Dwarf Lab social media. 
So I hope you find this video useful and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new because I should receive it shortly and I will start uh, testing the Neundorf 3 Smart Telescope and make more uh, video content soon. Also, if you are interested in ordering the DOS 3 Smart Telescope and helping the channel, affiliate links are available in the video description. If you do want to support the channel more, you can check also the channel membership, where if you join, you'll be able to get access also to my astrophotography data. That will include data captured also with the Dwarf 3 Smart Telescope. Thanks for watching and I wish you clear sky.